using the glide floss would be better for those people. Getting anything through your teeth is better than nothing. I'm Rick Buck and I've been a dentist for 14 years. I like to cover all things oral health related, so subscribe if you have teeth and care about health. In this video today, I will show you how well the Glide Advance Floss cleans between my teeth, while I explain what I like and don't like about the floss. So let's start how I always do by staining all the plaque in my mouth pink and brushing using a brush that I know will leave some plaque behind to test it out with. Before we floss, let's look at the amount of plaque that we start out with. This is why floss is so important to me. In fact, a great floss is more important to me than a great toothbrush. Why? Because most toothbrushes can brush the plaque off the exposed surfaces of the teeth well. Only great brushes can get far in between the teeth. But the better the floss cleans in between my teeth, the less you need a great toothbrush. There is a solid amount of plaque still between my teeth, as you can see. And once again, that's because I used an inferior brush that I don't really like too much. So as I'm flossing, Note that in each gap, I floss and tug the floss along the back tooth and then the front tooth of each gap. I cover this way more in depth in my video on how to floss. So make sure you watch that video after this one because correct technique is probably more important than having a great floss. Now, the first great thing to know about this floss is that it snaps and glides along my teeth really well, which is probably why it's called glide. It feels awesome. In fact, I remember when I first used these Teflon flosses over the standard nylon flosses a while ago and they snapped so well through the teeth and you didn't get as much shredding and honestly it lived up to their name that they were called glide because they glided along the tooth especially over the old nylon flosses. Then for people with really tight contacting teeth this was amazing because they wouldn't shred as much and they could actually get a floss in between them so the Teflon flosses were really nice. But did it and does it clean teeth better or was that glide more likely to just kind of glide over the plaque as opposed to gripping it and removing the plaque as the old nylon flosses do and some of the newer flosses do we will see but spoiler alert kind of however there is a better feature of these over the old nylon flosses. The good thing about Glide Floss is that its design is made so that it lays flat against the tooth to increase surface area to possibly remove more plaque. Now my favorite floss, which you can purchase from an affiliate link in the description below this YouTube video, will do this too. I love it because that floss lays flat, expands, and has superior grippiness to it. So as I explained, just because the floss feels better, it may not be a great thing in the end for the ultimate health and cleanliness of your teeth, but we'll see in a minute. Then again, all it has to do and all any floss has to do to be successful is knock the plaque in your teeth loose. Then if you brush after flossing, which I highly recommend, a good brush will do the rest to remove the plaque. And even a good rinse might do the rest to remove the plaque that is dislodged loose. Watch my video on the best daily brushing and flossing routine that I link to at the end of this video. But anyway, let's see if this floss is successful at dislodging it and we'll know because the brush will easily brush away any of the dislodged plaque. Now I should note that I didn't brush after I flossed in this video because I brushed before, but typically if I wasn't putting it to the test to show you guys and demonstrate how well the floss works, I would have flossed first then brushed. Now let's look at the results. You can see the teeth are much more clean than when they started, but if I pause it and you look closer, there is still a good hue of pink between most of the teeth. I can still see a good amount of plaque between my front two teeth, my upper right canine, my lower right premolar, my upper and lower first molars. And as I unpause and turn my head right and to the left, there's still a lot of plaque left between a lot of my teeth. So while Glide feels great, for most people I recommend other flosses as Glide doesn't do a great job cleaning. The one exception is if you have really tight contacting teeth and other flosses just won't snap through and if other flosses are just always shredding and breaking when trying to floss. In that case, getting anything through your teeth is better than nothing. So using the Glide Floss would be better for those people. But for 95 plus percent of people, I probably recommend another floss. Make sure you watch my video on my daily brushing and flossing routines to know the best daily sequence of brushing and flossing and 
and how to floss to see what you are doing wrong. Watch those videos now, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.